The excitement surrounding the upcoming Sony A7 V is palpable, and for good reason. As the long-awaited successor to the widely celebrated A7 IV, this new mirrorless camera has captured the attention of both enthusiasts and professional shooters alike. Over the past few months, leaks and registered model codes have provided a glimpse of what Sony might be bringing to the table. While there's still some uncertainty surrounding final specifications, one thing is clear. The A7 V is intended to push the boundaries of hybrid photography and videography, blending high-resolution imaging with advanced video features in a single, versatile package. For photographers and filmmakers considering an upgrade, the A7 V promises to be a compelling proposition if it lives up to expectations. But what exactly do these leaks suggest about Sony's new flagship, and is the hype justified? To understand the significance of the A7 V, it's important to look at the history of Sony's A7 series. Since the introduction of the original A7, Sony has been at the forefront of the full-frame mirrorless market, effectively shaping modern standards for image quality, portability, and hybrid performance. The A7 III, launched in 2018, was a game-changer at its price point of $1,999, offering exceptional image quality, robust autofocus, and 4K video capabilities in a compact body. The A7 IV followed in 2021, introducing significant improvements in sensor performance and processing power, but also marking a notable increase in price. Now, in 2025, Sony appears ready to continue this upward trajectory with the A7 V. Early indications suggest that the camera's pricing could climb again, with US estimates ranging from around $2,799 to possibly $2,999 for the body alone. International buyers, particularly in regions like Asia, may face additional VAT and customs duties, which could push the cost even higher. The rising price has led many to question whether the A7 V delivers sufficient technological upgrades to justify the premium. The heart of the A7 V, and arguably the most intriguing aspect, is its sensor. Rumors suggest two primary possibilities. Some credible sources point toward a new 44-megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, which would offer increased resolution and allow photographers to capture incredibly detailed images suitable for large prints, heavy cropping, and demanding commercial work. This option would appeal to professionals and hybrid shooters who prioritize image fidelity and flexibility. On the other hand, there's speculation about a 33-megapixel stacked CMOS sensor. While lower in resolution, this type of sensor could provide faster readout speeds, improved low-light performance, and enhanced processing capabilities, making it ideal for action photography, high-speed continuous shooting, and demanding video work. Both sensor options have clear advantages, meaning the final choice will likely reflect Sony's intended target audience. Those who value ultimate detail might lean toward the 44-megapixel variant, whereas shooters seeking speed and versatility may prefer the 33-megapixel stack design. Alongside the sensor, the Sony A7 V is rumored to incorporate the powerful Beyond's XR image processor, which has already proven itself in Sony's flagship A1 and FX3 models. When paired with AI-enhanced autofocus, the camera is expected to offer next-level subject tracking and recognition capabilities. This system could handle complex scenes, including fast-moving subjects like cars, animals, or sports action, as well as faces and eyes with pinpoint accuracy. The AI-driven autofocus could also excel in challenging lighting conditions, including backlit situations and high-contrast environments, allowing users to maintain consistent focus without constant manual adjustment. Of course, as with any AI system, performance may vary in extremely low light or highly chaotic scenes, but overall expectations are high for the A7V's autofocus reliability. Video capabilities are another major selling point for the A7V, and here Sony appears to be targeting hybrid shooters who need professional-grade performance in a single device. Leaks indicate that the camera could offer 4K 16-bit RAW output, potentially supporting S-Log3 and S-Gamut3 color profiles. This would give filmmakers maximum latitude for color grading, allowing them to achieve cinematic looks while retaining subtle tonal detail. 
While some videographers might hope for 6K or full-frame 4K at 60 frames per second, the inclusion of advanced color profiles and high bit rate recording alone could make the A7 V a compelling option for content creators, YouTubers, and independent filmmakers. Complementing these capabilities is an impressive 8-stop 5-axis and body image stabilization system. If implemented effectively, this would enable handheld shooting in both photography and video scenarios, reducing the reliance on gimbals or tripods and offering smoother footage even during dynamic or fast-moving shots. Storage and workflow have also been addressed, with leaks suggesting that the A7 V will retain dual card slots, compatible with both CFexpress Type A and SD cards. This design is particularly appealing for hybrid shooters who need to handle high-resolution images and high bit rate videos simultaneously, providing redundancy and fast write speeds for professional use. While the camera's body design is expected to follow the familiar Sony A7 line aesthetic, it will likely feature subtle refinements such as a slightly deeper grip and improved button layout for enhanced handling, particularly during extended shooting sessions or when using larger telephoto lenses. Weather sealing is expected to remain, ensuring the A7 V remains reliable in demanding outdoor conditions. Considering the combination of high-end sensor options, advanced processing, AI autofocus, robust video performance, and comprehensive stabilization, the A7 V is clearly being positioned as a true hybrid powerhouse. Yet, there are still areas where photographers and videographers will want clarity. If Sony chooses the 33-megapixel sensor over the 44-megapixel option, some photographers might feel that resolution has been sacrificed for speed, potentially limiting cropping flexibility and large format print quality. Similarly, while 4K 16-bit RAW is impressive, the lack of native 6K video or full-frame 4K at 60p could disappoint those seeking maximum video versatility. Additionally, the rising price point will remain a factor for many potential buyers, especially as other manufacturers continue to offer competitive features at lower costs. In terms of performance, the Sony A7 V aims to strike a balance between still photography and video production, catering to hybrid shooters who demand flexibility. The combination of powerful image processing, AI-enhanced autofocus, and advanced stabilization could make it one of the most capable full-frame mirrorless cameras for professionals working across multiple disciplines. For still photographers, the potential sensor options offer a choice between ultimate detail or speed, depending on shooting priorities. For videographers, the inclusion of high bit rate recording, wide color gamut support, and advanced stabilization ensures the camera remains a strong contender in 2025's competitive market. Ultimately, the Sony A7 V appears to be a thoughtful continuation of the A7 lineage, integrating lessons learned from previous models while addressing the needs of modern shooters. Its rumored feature set suggests that Sony is targeting the growing hybrid audience, photographers who demand high resolution and dynamic video capabilities without compromise. While no camera is perfect, the A7V's combination of sensor flexibility, AI autofocus, stabilization, and professional video tools positions it as a potential benchmark for hybrid performance. As the release approaches, prospective buyers will need to consider their priorities carefully. For some, the higher price may be justified by the advanced sensor, processing power, and hybrid capabilities. For others, particularly those who do not require top-tier video features or maximum resolution, the cost could be a barrier. In any case, the Sony A7 V is shaping up to be one of the most anticipated mirrorless cameras of 2025, and it will undoubtedly influence the market dynamics in the full-frame segment. Enthusiasts, professionals, and hybrid shooters alike will be watching closely as Sony finalizes the specifications and officially launches the camera. In conclusion, the Sony A7 V represents Sony's commitment to delivering a versatile, hybrid-ready camera that can meet the needs of both still photographers and videographers. From its potentially groundbreaking sensor options to its AI-enhanced autofocus, high-end video features, and advanced stabilization, the A7 V is poised to make a significant impact.
While there are still uncertainties regarding final specifications, pricing, and certain design choices, the camera's rumored capabilities make it a highly compelling option for those looking to upgrade or invest in a future-proof hybrid system. For those following the evolution of Sony's A7 series, the A7 V promises to continue the legacy of innovation, performance, and adaptability that has defined the line for nearly a decade. As always, the final verdict will come once the camera hits the market, but for now, anticipation is high, and the conversation around Sony's next hybrid powerhouse has only just begun.